I think something that unites uh, Charlotte Pyman and Herrero work is a sense of old and new, a sense of surrealism. We've both really been drawn to surrealism. Also humor. I think we've incorporated humor in a lot of um, what we do. There's a very fun dialogue where I don't know all of the rules of architecture, he doesn't know all of the rules of furniture history and textile design, and we bring something to the table that you know, not totally trained in every way. And I think there's a lot of room in there for a desire to create narrative and um, to specifically use references and objects and history to tell a, a very layered story. Architecture to us is anything from the structural system to the possumentary that lines the bottom of your curtains. That I think is what makes our duo so strong is that it's not just an architect and an interior decorator working together on things, it's, it's someone in one field taking on roles of a different field. And, and that is just a new breath of life. Our recent projects include a edible black garden on a rooftop here in Manhattan. We were just in the Chicago Architecture Biennial curated by Johnston Markley. We're working on an opera set for the Dutch Royal Opera. We are really excited about our first freestanding house commission in Marfa, Texas. We were thrilled to be awarded the Miami Design District's Holiday Commission. It presents an opportunity to transform and activate an entire neighborhood, to create an experience for thousands of people, and to reinterpret a landscape. The project of the Miami Design District is very special. Works by Zaha Hadid, Buckminster Fuller, Johnston Markley, Leon Leong, uh, the whole place is like a gallery of architecture. The name of our installation is White Rain, which is what the residents of Jacksonville, Florida called the first recorded incident of snow in Florida in 1774. White Rain is an installation that responds to the performative light qualities of Miami. By tinseling every single tree in the district, one's experience of entering the district would be like walking into a snow globe. For us, it was very important that the installation took up not just a block, but the entire district. We felt that it was a very lo-fi way of reflecting Miami onto itself. The lights uh, that are already throughout the street and the district are, are vibrant and festive and when the tinsel blows in the wind and reflects everything, it's just gonna amplify it and make it that much more fun during the holiday season. <laughs>